it is now time for a brand new character request and this is a character that i previously made a moveset for but when i first started this series i didn't do too much of anything as far as the the characters and i wanted to see where the series would go and now that it's it's really appealed to most people out there that want to see these characters and you guys character requests it's not about them getting into the game i originally had an older series with um uh, a different game that was completely different for first rate shooter where i started this request series and i wanted to see where it could go and i'm happy to see how far it has gone it has become as far as character requests for this game and not even just then i first started creating these from the very first game for nickelodeon all-star brawl for characters of how i think they could play and is the characters that people want to see make it into the game and how i think they would probably be able to play the game play in the game if they were to get into the game and it's not about well they don't stand a chance there's no point in making a moveset it's fun creating these and Kappa Mikey was one of the characters that I did for someone else, someone else's request out there. And now uh, it has come back again as far as others who want to see Kappa Mikey get into the game, who remember the show and more. It's not about even if he's not on part of fully owned by Nickelodeon, it's it'll just just the imagination and just this thing just the possibility of him possibly getting into this game it'll be really awesome to see it might not happen to this game it might be in a completely different game by surprise but the potential is there and the developers can definitely try to get some of these characters into the game that people want to see so we're going to turn the music down a little bit and get to know kappa mikey i'm not sure how many people out there who have heard of this show and if you haven't watched this show before um you can watch it free of charge here on YouTube. All the episodes are free and um, different channels have posted them if you want to check it out. And you can just watch the episodes. You can even watch a couple episodes and see what it's about. But I'm going to tell you guys his story and how he became this hero and, you know, where he just his whole backstory and things like that that we're about to get into so this is just a completely updated moveset request so since i recently got it i thought why not just do maybe i'll try it my hand as an as an updated request for kappa mikey and um it's been quite some time since the first came the first game came out and i did it two years ago when i made the moveset so i did it some different things and i wanted to expand and um try to challenge myself of what i could give him more from what i did because i um, only gave him a couple moves as far as um a moveset from my first one that i did for this particular character in the series so the series is called kappa mikey and um the actual character or the main protagonist is mikey simon so you guys are going to be able to get to know him it's just and just a bit let's open up the roster and um this is where we are right now we don't know who's going to be next let's just start talking about it right now we don't know who's going to be next for this game because we're just waiting to find out and now that we're up in september this is the time to really try to find out what's going to be happening next for this game is it is iroh going to be the final character that we're going to get some people say have different they stand on different on the sides of the, the coin some people think that iroh is the last character that we're ever going to get for this game and we're probably going to get a brand new game maybe we could see kappa mikey appear in a different crossover a different game for nickelodeon all-star ball 3 we don't know but there's other characters that people are waiting for and hoping to see get added in a potential way to if we get one i'm not sure what's going to happen to this game and i'm hoping that they come out they come out of the shadows and tell us what the future is going to look like for this game and if we're going to get more even if they're not going to get any more characters for the rest of the year what's going to be something that we can expect for this game is it just going to be patches to stabilize the game for quality of quality of life fixes that pertain to fixing the servers and stay making sure everything is fixed and polished bug fixes and performance issues which are quality of life fixes in other terms is that all we're going to get or maybe we're going to be able to see more of these characters appear next year 
so I'm not sure what they're going to be doing. We'll just have to wait and see. But let's get into the backstory and get to know this character. Mikey Simon is definitely a character I would love to see make it into this game. And just being able to upgrade and do this updated request. For some of you guys that's new to the channel, I definitely had a lot of fun just re-watching the episodes and getting to know him all over again. And I was able to watch more episodes that I haven't even seen before. So the big question is, is he going to be able to get into this game? But Nickelodeon does not have the full rights to him. I just end up seeing it air on the Nicktoons network. It ended up moving to the Nicktoons network to be aired on. So they'll definitely have to try to get the rights and the copyright and, uh, licensing and things like that resolved and negotiation settled to get Captain Mikey in this game if possible or maybe in a different game but let's talk let's start talking about Mikey Simon and getting to know him Mikey Simon was going for his acting career and trying to audition and his goal was trying to become a actor and when you first start watching you'll be able to see this all take place all in one episode everything changed for him in one episode in this well just basically in the pilot episode for episode one you'll be able to see how he gets his start how things turned out um and how things weren't working out so well for him when he really tried to audition and become an actor and being told that he cannot act that he did not have any talent and that he wasn't good enough and he began to he lost all he, he began to lose all his hope and he didn't even know what to do next because everything that he tried and from the auditions himself just trying to get a role in like a movie to star in a movie and become an actor he just didn't have what it takes and they were, he was told that he just couldn't he just wasn't good enough to be an actor and that and they kicked him out of the studio. They didn't even want to give him a chance. And well, they did give him a chance, but he just wasn't good. As far as acting, he just didn't have that kind of that interest where you want to just be able to push him and just try to see where it goes. But you can really be able to see everything just crumble for him. And then all in the same episode, he suddenly received an invitation for a contest it was a scratch off contest for the lead role it's the role of the lifetime for his story it's awesome just to really see how you know things just flip just like that and it's just what they say out there how quickly life changes and how things just change things just happen just right off the bat where you just don't see it coming and this that's what happened to mikey that's what happened to Mikey Simon because he ended up getting this. He ended up randomly getting this, winning this scratch off contest for the role of a lifetime to be the next star of the Lindley Moo anime TV show. He gets lucky and becomes the winner of the scratch off contest and he wins a trip all the way to Tokyo, Japan to really become the next hero because Lily Moo was on the verge of shutting down Lily Moo with the anime show. You'll be able to find out more about this when you start watching the show if you're interested. Lily Moo is an animated or an anime TV show. And they were looking for a brand new hero because if they could not find one, if they couldn't find a hero to take that lead role, Lily Moo would have been over and done with. It would have been canceled. The show would have been done forever. Mikey Simon was the guy. Mikey Simon was the go the go to guy to be able to take on this lead role. It took some time for him to get used to it, but once you start watching the show, he gets better and better and better. And when you watch the show, of course, he'll be some. He's he loves to joke around. He loves to pull pranks and things like that. He'll even sometimes goof around and come up with his own sort of acts in his own actions during the scene the scenes that's being shot in the studio sometimes they'll have to start over sometimes and um reshoot the uh, the scene 
things like that but it, he ends up getting better and better and the scenes start turning out a little bit more better and more improved in the way they're supposed to and all the things that's supposed to happen in that, those particular scenes when they're acting in, during this anime scene for their show in Lily Moon it gets better per every end of the episode you'll be able to see how the scene is supposed to be finished and they sometimes change it up where it just turns out better than what it was than from what he started because he's always usually making mistakes he makes a lot of mistakes but he gets better along the way and that's why he became this big star for this anime show so you'll really be able to see him be able to meet new friends and being able to take on this new role and be this hero he's the reason why lily moo is still going if it wasn't for mikey simon this show would be over with this show would be canceled because they wouldn't have a hero because everybody else that they were trying to audition for lily moo just didn't have what it takes and they weren't interested and when you find out and start watching the show he meets the owner ozu the producer himself ozu who's pulling the strings for the show because he was about ready to cancel the show and end the lily moon once and for all mikey simon meets ozu the producer and everything in his life changes for the better so you'll be able to see this all take place when you first start watching the show in the first episode for the very first time and you'll be able to see him make new connections and new friends Lily Moo is Lily Moo's Lily Moo is basically I was trying to say the new anime hero for the show is Mikey Simon who we're talking about today he saved the show and that's the reason why all the characters and the friends that he has and he he has met in Tokyo well in Tokyo Japan that you see him be able to travel to that's the reason why they're still around so he is the savior of Lily Moo and he's the hero. So you'll be able to watch him grow and be able to just see him get better and better at each show. Each show, each episode, and, and every scene is different. And just to throw this out there right now, Gonar, he's the main antagonist of the show, of this anime, this anime show of Lily Moo, who tries to stop them, who tries to stop Mikey and he's part of the cast and he also is friends with mikey but gonar plays a role of the main antagonist of the lily moo anime tv show that they shoot these scenes for it's a really good show it's funny it's a lot of fun to watch and you see him really be able to develop these connections and relationships with these characters with his new home japan became his new home once he made the lean role and Ozu caught interest of him. He's the big star. So that's everything for his his backstory that I wanted to really just be able to expand on and just tell his story. It's a lot of fun to watch. It's a really good show. I definitely recommend it. You don't have to worry about paying a subscription or nothing like that. You can just watch it for free here on YouTube and be able to enjoy the show and on uh, the episodes and really see what he can do and how things start out for him the episodes are out there so you can be able to watch them free for the full episodes for Kappa Mikey that you guys can check out but that's Mikey Simon's story that I wanted to share so people get to know these characters instead of just jumping right into the um, the moveset that's why I like telling the stories of these new characters this was a show that was brand new to me at the time but he's been a character I wanted to see for a DLC, maybe possibly in another crossover. We'll probably end up having to see what happens. I hope he gets into the game. He definitely deserves to be in. And there's quite some people out there that would love to see this, see this show make a reboot or make a return that they can possibly do. The hero himself, a Lily Moon. So that's Mikey Simon's story. But now we're going to start getting into the, the stages because we definitely so desperately need more new stages these are the two new stages a lot has changed for this game over time anyway because we didn't have these stages at first so country and then we got Thailand start out that we got from the recent update that also came out with iroh 
So the stages that I went with, if he was to get into the game, that would be ideal. I added the Lily Moo Studio where they perform, you know, all the different scenes during the show for the anime show and on the different episodes trying to stop Gonar and all the different crime fighting, the stunts that they pull during the show, during the scenes that they shoot in Lily Moo Studio. That's an ideal um, an ideal stage. And I also went with the Lily Moo Towers that can also be able to get into the game. So either one of those, but I will honestly pick Lily Moo Studio because that's the main sort of set that can really be able to take place and you could be able to battle. So those are the two new stages that I ended up going with. Now, hopefully we'll be able to get more. Hopefully we get some new stages. Every new character that gets into the game going forward, if we get more, needs to have a stage. Because none of them that we gotten, all four of these characters didn't have a stage. We just had variations. We need more new stages to get into the game. So let's start talking about the costumes. And I'm going to use Iroh, for example, since he's our recent character that we got about a uh, few weeks ago. So the costumes that I selected for Mikey for Mikey Simon, I went with his Lily Moo outfit, his regular skin. He's going to end up having, of course. But I also, also went with his not a hero costume where he can have his blue T-shirt, his blue T-shirt over a tan, a tan shirt green khakis and his brown shoes that he can have as a as a costume and then something else that I ended up picking up to add on to his costumes Mikey the Werepuff and I pulled this from the Night of the Werepuff Halloween episode I didn't see this before so I thought I'd add a little bit more for his costumes and then since we're playing a brand new game we have the new game now he's obviously going to definitely have his mind control uh, mind control skins to go with them but Mikey the Werepuff it's where, where it was where Mikey was infected with an Asian evil with an Asian evil and he ended up turning into clo a clothing eating monster <laughs> called the Werepuff so his body will be full of orange and blue hair so I thought this would be something really funny to see and it will be cool for the developers to pull as an ideal alternate costume and maybe when you purchase his cost, well, when you purchase his DLC, it can be a bonus costume that can be thrown in. See how they did with Patrick the Elastic Waste Man? It was a pre-order bonus. And then they did the bonus also with SpongeBob um, the Quickster. They could do something like that with the Werepuff as an idea. There's no other costumes that I could come up with and end up finding for Mikey Simon. I did see him in um, his sumo wrestler little outfit, but... It made me think of how they did this, you know, the shirtless, shirtless aim, things like that. This looks pretty cool when he was fighting against Fire Lord Ozai. So it could play, it could be something similar to this with his sumo wrestler suit, but I didn't add that in as a costume. Maybe someone else out there will probably be able to mention other costumes, but I think those would be the main ones I would go with. The Werepuff would definitely be a funny costume that can get in. And then considering the fact that it was from the Halloween episode, just take a look at Garfield. This is his Halloween costume when he dressed up as a pirate. So they definitely going to be looking for those kind of costumes from Halloween specials, Christmas specials, and things like that. But there's no nobody in this roster have, has a Christmas sort of costume anymore. Because that was from the first game. It was only two different characters. Ren and Stippy and... Um, and Helga from uh, Hey Arnold. But they're definitely going to be going for that uh, Werepuff costume. That'll be something that I think would be ideal that Kevin Mikey fans would really enjoy to have and be able to rock. That'll be something funny for him to wear. So those are the costumes. And now I wanted to do an update to the, ta the taunts and animations. I gave him a winning and losing animation and things like that just to beef it up and then some taunts that he could possibly do. His moonwalking dance that he does at the video game arcade with the casting crew. You will be able to see this in episode one when he ends up hanging out with his new friends after winning and becoming a new star of Lily Moon. Getting to know the city, getting to know the area and life in Tokyo. This will be something that he can, you guys will be able to spot him doing his moonwalking dance. 
an heroic act for another additional taunt. With someone that has a superhero costume, let's use Mr. Krabs. See, just it makes you think of him a little bit with this outfit. So with his heroic act taunt, he'll say, stop right there. There's a new hero on town with his hero pose so he can just point at you. It'll be really cool if I'm just like, stop right there. There's a hero, new hero on town. He's the new hero. It's something ideal of what he can say in the game for a voice line. Some of those quotes, let's do this. And since he's, just, he's the star, I'm the star of Lily Moon. You can't touch this. And then as you watch the show, he also says, Mikey Simon at your service. That could be something that he could probably say when, when he uh, spawns in. Like as his entrance, a little entrance quote, Mikey Simon at your service. He can say something like that when he spawns in. So this is just a little bit of taunts and some of the quotes and things that he could say. How about a winning, let's do this winning and losing animations. So I thought for a winning animation, Mikey can flex and kiss, kiss his muscles showing off in style. And I got this from the Sumo of All Fears episode. He said, I can't believe they let me through the security with these guns. When they're not really guns, he's just, there's just small, tiny muscles. It'll be something funny that I think fans would like to see that he can do when he's in this game, just flexing as a winning animation. So I got that from the Sumo of All Fears episode. And so notice I brought that up. You could be able to see him try to, when he was trying to, build his um, his muscles because he had trouble picking up the bus so that'll be something for the on um, the scene he couldn't pick up the bus so he was trying to get stronger and build his muscle so this could be something that'll be more fitting for his winning animation a losing animation mikey can strike a pose with his arms folding his arms folded looking away so i got this it's, it's something what they can do because some of these winning animations i don't want to have some of the some of the characters just cry. I don't want to just take it like that. Let's keep on doing the same thing. It's a lot of uh, different. Most of the Looney and Lucy animations have some of the characters crying, like Ember, for example. So Mikey can just have his arms folded, looking away, you know, looking away in shame, you know, like a whatever sort of pose. And I got this from the live Lily Moo episode. Where you can really be able to see him do that. So, it's it's something that I think could fit as a uh, as a I was gonna say a winning animation, as a losing animation for him. That could be something that could really fit his character and actually something that he does in the show. So those are his winning losing animations and then the taunts that we already came up with that I really think will be a lot of fun to really see him do. Because you definitely know, you know, Mikey. Uh, Mikey Simon loves to show off and be since he's the the big star he's soaking in that fame and he's soaking in that glory being the star and the hero of Lily Moon so that's something that I think I, I picked those and pulled those from the um, the episodes in the show so that it could fit his character now it's time for the moveset. set we're going to start talking about some of the moves that I wanted to give him and then um I also decided to give him a super because everybody in this new game and this new title has a super or ultimate attack final smash whatever you want to call it and for his full moveset I decided to give him a summon just to upgrade him a little bit guano see I, I, I like just using Rocco and Jimmy Neutron for example because they have summons. I'm trying to think of anybody else that has one. Grandma Gurney technically also has one because she can randomly bring out Ab Abner. But it's not often that Abner will come out when she brings him out. Because sometimes she brings out a cooking stove, uh, an explosive timer, an explosive bomb with a timer on it, a giant bowling ball. You know, bowling, the bowling balls, and then also the piano that's even more bigger. So you just never know what you're going to get randomly. A firework, she also does. And even some some healing items as well that she can pull out. So, um, 
Abner is definitely one of the one the one summon characters that she has, so it counts as a summon in a way. But she doesn't bring it out as often as Rocco can bring out Spunky and then Jimmy Neutron with Goddard. I was trying to think of anybody else that had one. Yeah, I think that's it. Nobody else had any summons right now in this game. Just those three characters. But mainly Rocco and Jimmy Neutron. So I selected Guano for Kappa Mikey for uh, Mikey Simon's first move. And when he brings him out as a, a quote, Guano, now's our chance. He can say that when he brings him out. Guano will be able to fire lasers from the from a distance using a blue gem on his chest and if you don't know who guano is he's one of the five main protagonists he's also the director but he also plays a role in some of the scenes that you guys will be able to see when you watch the show guano also has his little hidden abilities so i thought guano would be a cool summon that mikey simon can be able to bring out and i did a little bit more with him later that you guys will be able to find out so Guano is the small purple furry creature in the show that also could talk, but he's also the director that I just mentioned. And he'll be able to attack using the blue gem on his chest. And I got this from the Lily Boo episode. You guys will be able to see this in action. And I believe it was going towards the end of the episode. In the end of Lily Boo, where you can be able to see him in action and he can use that, utilize that blue gem. Is definitely going to be a great summon. He's going to be able to get distance. He's going to be better than Spunky. And then he'll be able to strike you at a distance. Just like Goddard can. But you have manual control over Goddard. And then when you bring him out without manual control. He's just. Goddard is just going to run. You know just. He's going to slowly just start running towards you. If you're not manually controlling uh, Goddard. They could play around with Guano. Guano to be able to um, give you manu manual control, just like similar to how they did the mechanics for Goddard, because you can be able to control him and for um, as long as nobody hits Jimmy Neutron or uh, successfully hits Goddard, you will still be able to have manual control of him. So you could probably be able to have control of Guano as well to be able to fire the laser wherever you want it to go and be able to control him. That could be something that can work similarly, similarly to how they developed, they developed and implemented Goddard with that manual control. So you could be able to have control where you, where you want to fire his lasers and fire shots from his gym, from his chest. So Guano can definitely be a force to be reckoned with. Uh, reckon with so I wanted to give him a summon from Mikey Simon for his moveset and I almost forgot about Gur for some I wasn't even thinking about that so Rocco Jiminy try uh zoom in and grandma Gertie with Abner but mainly these three so with Gur I almost forgot about but um his next move I gave him something a little bit different just to fit his whole role being on the set the prop bus so the prop bus mikey is going to be able to showcase his strength on the scene by throwing the bus at his his enemies and he'll be able to carry the bus in his hands it, but if he if he's holding the bus for too long the bus will immediately drop and be released from his hands and then you know, he only can hold this bus for so long. So the prop bus will be able to be cool for him to really be able to toss at a large crowd of enemies. And it can explode right right then and there. It'll be really nice to see that. A prop bus taken directly from the show when they were practicing some of those scenes. And it's actually something that they was... It was, um, it was from the sumo. Let me try to scroll up. I was trying to get the name of the episode. The sumo, the sumo of all fears. That's where I ended up getting it from. Because remember, he was trying to balk up. He he wasn't strong enough to print to lift that bust up, bus up from the scene, so he can throw that same bus for one of his moves for his move kit. That could be something. His next move, I gave him a projectile attack. So I call it the orb, and this is no ordinary orb. He'll just be able to toss around across the screen. It could definitely be something similar to um, how Squidward plays the notes from his clarinet. 
You know what I mean? So with the projectile attack, it's going to be a little bit more trickier. The orb that he throws during the scene is style Garner or Gonar. This projectile attack that Mikey throws in the show or in the scene to style Gonar, it has a razor blade hidden inside. So it'll also be able to fly back to, to Mikey when on um, at any time. So I think he, he can definitely be able to throw this or full screen to really be able to stop, uh, to really catch you off guard and really be able to, um, you know, capitalize. So just, he'll be able to, it, it's a good little combo. He can throw the orb. Because he would say, this looks like a Josh Ward, the orb, something like that. It's a nice projectile attack, but it's not going to be that ordinary orb because that razor blade that's hidden inside is going to be spinning towards you and it can possibly be something that can home in on you. So this could be his an actual homing projectile attack that I wanted to turn it into. So because it actually functions like that in the scene when he's trying to stop Gonar, the main antagonist of the show, that's always trying to put to stop Lily Moon and destroy it. This orb is definitely going to be something special that Mikey can definitely have in his moveset. And so it can be a homing projectile to slow down the opponents. So you're not going to really be able to escape this easily because you can also be able to play Goner. Or I said, say Goner. You can also be able to summon Guano right after you throw the uh, his orb with the razor blade. So this special orb is definitely going to be something homing in, chasing after you. And then Guano is going to be on you. So you'll definitely have to deal with two things at once. It's a good little combo to pressure the enemy. So his cape, I wanted to do something so, something cool with it, with his heroic cape. Mikey can use his cape to, re, to reflect projectiles. Now, I was thinking about Mario from Super Smash Bros. Because from uh, Super Mario World, was it Super Mario, Mario World 3 from the Game Boy Advance? Where you could ride Yoshi. It was when it showed Mario with, with and Yoshi in the same cover with that yellow cape. And it was actually a move that he did in... I think it was Melee, Super Mario, or Super Smash Bros. Melee, where he could use his cape to reflect the um, projectiles. So this could be something that's going to be unique because the cape is going to be part of Mikey's uh, his suit. So this could be great for a nice defensive move to protect himself. And it can also work as a unique shield to be able to make him um, immune to projectile attacks for a limited amount of time some kind of unique shield that can be broken see how iroh got his little counters in this game it could be something that could be reflect that can be able to reflect the projectiles not even just lightning bitney not just reflecting lightning bending like azula it'll be able to do something like that not just with some kind of hidden taunt which i like how they did for zuko but they can use Captain well mikey simon's kate to be able to reflect lightning bending to be able to stop the fire bending the fireball, anything that shoots from Retar, the missiles from Jenny, the lasers from Gur, you know what I mean? The projectiles that Gerald throws from his frisbee and that explosive watch, things like that. Even for Ember's uh, guitar, the clarinet, it just goes on and on. And then just with Danny Phantom's projectiles, it'll be able to reflect all those different um, projectiles with his cape. So I thought that would be something that I think would fit his character to pay homage to the show. I also gave him the Lily Moo laser blaster blaster. So Mikey can be able to fire laser beams across the screen as well as in the air. So his laser blaster, I want to give him that. These are things that he actually uses on the set in these scenes to try to stop Gonar. And then I gave him the Acne Missile Launcher. So he'll be able to fire missiles. He'll be able to shoot you with his laser blaster. So he's going to have those different gadgets that he uses against Gonar to slow him down. And it can be used and brought into his move pool for his move kit to be able to use against all the other fighters in this game. It'll be awesome to see. See how rush that he got his little gun, his little blaster. 
Mikey Simon's going to have a little bit more tricks than Rockstein up his sleeve. So, I gave him a, um, a dashing strike that I carried over where Mikey could be able to glide full screen to stop anyone in his way. So he'll be able to dash right at you with his little, like a, a little heroic punch flying right towards you. Almost like how Superman does <laughs> in a way. But it'll be something that will really make him fit his character. His next move, I used his, his bat. The bat extension, this bat that he uses that's in the show, is capable of expanding. And then he can also be able to retract it from the handle from a press of a button in the show. <coughs> the player can also be able to choose to extend the range of the bat or retract it. So I thought that'll be something that they could be able to do to make it unique. Because I don't think um I don't think any of these characters have something like that. I think that'll be something that's gonna really make his his weapons unique where he'll be able to extend the range. It was in, in Iroh since he's out. See how he drinks the tea? With his tea, it, it extends the range of his firebending techniques or of his firebending powers and it makes him stronger, but and the, he gets the extension from drinking the tea. So this could be something that can definitely work with his bat that he uses. And he can really be able to hit you. He'd just be able to combo you a few times, hit you outside, and then if you're a little bit further, he can still be able to get you. So with that extension, so with a push of a button, maybe like a little special, a neutral special, he'll be able to extend. Like just an example for a button input. He can, you can press the neutral special, whichever your button is, or your input is, you can be able to use his neutral special to be able to extend the bat, and you can be able to get further away, or further opponents to really be able to wail on them. So, I wanted to add that into it, and just a recovery move, Mikey to the rescue. So, Mikey will just obviously be able to fly in the air, or maybe he can swing around like he does in the scene on the set so when he tried when he rescued Lily from falling it was almost something similar that they had it was just awesome seeing it because I just immediately picked it up it was when Green Goblin had um when Green Goblin had uh Mary Jane and he also had the um the bus full of kids or that cart that cart full of kids and uh, people, innocent people from uh, New York City just stuck screaming and things like that. Where Mikey Simon had to choose between Lily and rescuing the people that was stuck in the bus. They took, the, it was something similar to that scene with, uh, similar to that, the very first Spider-Man movie. It's something that he can do when he was swinging around to fly and catch Lily and also be able to rescue the kids and everybody that was stuck in the bus that were all that were going to be um that was on the way down from a great height that were going to all fall so he had to make a choice between lily and the bus okay so that's something that they could possibly do for a recovery also to have him swing but i thought just having him being able to fly into the air for a limited amount of time but to get right back onto the set and onto the scene into the battlefield would be more ideal so they could do something like that so the last move that i wanted to do you see and just how jenny can fly she's just the perfect example because she can fly and you can have manual control and also with the hover car from jimmy neutron because you have manual control where you want to go between those two characters but just with her being able to fly it seems like something that i really awesome to see Something about this game that's different from the first game that I never thought I'd be able to see is the super attacks or ultimate moves that these characters can be able to do. They all have a super or ultimate attack, and I wanted to give Mikey Simon one. I gave him the Lily Mujet, and he will be able to call upon the Lily Mujet as backup that has Misuki, Lily, and Guano to aid him in the jet. 
so the jet can rain down gunfire sweeping the battlefield in three different flight rounds to protect Mikey Simon. To protect Mikey during the fight. So they'll be able to, they'll be making their rounds. It makes you almost think it like Star Fox a little bit. Fox McCloud from Nintendo of how you know Slippy Peppy and Falco can come out and you just be able to get involved into the fight. It could be something similar to that with the Lily Mujet with Misuki, Lily, and Guano, their characters and best friends. They're friends with Mikey Simon and they want to back him up and they're there for each other. So why not have him be able to call upon them in the Lily Mujet to be able to get on get on the scene and get into the action to really be able to back him up. So they're gonna be around um, protecting Mikey and they're gonna be huge distractions. You won't be able to attack the Lily Mujet. It's just gonna be something that you just have to watch out for and pay attention to where it's gonna fire its shots. So you're just gonna wanna dodge that Lily Mujet to make sure you don't run into some trouble because you might just have to take some hits from Mikey to be able to make sure that Lily Mujet doesn't blow you away from the um, from the from the stage and, and knock you out. So just three rounds of flights. So it's not just a one time. Well, fly it, it pops out one time and it just goes away. I wanted to make it something really cool that they could do. And it is almost something that it's almost as if it's like an advanced version of um Jimmy Neutron Super. He says think think and he uses his jet and runs you right over with it. But I wanted to do something more with that character, at least for that, and it's something that he can do. But let me know what you guys think in the moveset. I definitely wanted to give him something like this for a super. And I thought it would be more fitting for him to be able to act, just call upon the cast. They're best friends in the show. So they definitely belong in the game to be able to appear as a super. So I wanted to have something like that as an idea. Kappa Mikey is a new character and even if he's not fully owned by Nickelodeon, it's the big question, can they make it possible to get him into this game? I think my mic went out. All right. Anyway, let's try to make sure it's working. Sorry about that. But we're just keeping it. We're keeping it going. We're keeping it going so for this live from here. But anyway, sorry about that. I hope I didn't have to start over. I'm going to have to test this and make sure it was still playing. But what I was trying to say is I feel like Kappa Mikey is just one of those characters that people will want to see because it's someone that's new. It's someone that people remember. And wish they the show kept going on, and they would love to see the show go on, and continue the Breakers' return to be able to get into this game, and maybe something that can possibly be able to add on to the new reps. Let's get some new shows. Let's get characters like Cap and Mikey to get into these games and these crossovers. Let's get some negotiations settled so people can be able to see some of the characters that they want to see, like Mikey Simon. Some people probably don't know him, which is completely fine. But he's an underrated character. Most people don't talk about this show. Most people don't talk about him being in the fan polls and making it into a, pop a popular character and an ideal character to get in. Everybody's just talking about the same characters and they're just continuing to add on to the same characters with the same shows like SpongeBob and Team and Team and Avatar. We got to get some more characters that need to be able to get into this game so people can be able to get excited. So there's no telling if we're going to get more characters. I'm also going to have to make sure I didn't lose my audio. <laughs> but Kappa Mikey is such a great show. I definitely recommend it. It's free to watch here on YouTube on the website. And I definitely recommend it. It's fun. If you like anime and especially if some people that are DBZ fans, you'll be able to quickly be able to pick up on who's voicing Gonar for some cool little Dragon Ball Z vibes. I knew it sounded just like one of those characters. It's an actual Dragon Ball Z voice actor that plays Gonar, who's actually the main antagonist for the scene or for the show for the uh, Lily Moo anime TV show that they, they shoot for on anime for the set. I definitely think we deserve a lot more and hopefully it isn't the end, 
Maybe Kappa Mikey might be a Nickelodeon All-Star Ball 3 by some chance. Maybe he'll come down into a different game or a different crossover. But we shouldn't settle with characters like this because there's so much more that this game deserves instead of just finishing the pass and calling it quits on a game for a character like Iroh. He's fun, but he's not an ideal pick because you got all these other characters that they could have been getting and thinking about. There's plenty of options out there. And Kappa Mikey, or Mikey Simon himself, the hero and savior of Lily Moon, he would definitely be a good option. It's a new character, new rep, a new show that some, some people might not, might not know too much about him, but he's a character that could be ideal to help the series grow get people excited and they'll be interested in playing this character because he's someone different and he's gonna be a lot of fun to play i want him in this game i would like to see him in the next game if we get one maybe in a new, a new crossover but we still gotta find out see what happens let's get all these shows getting into this game we got all the world all the options in the world to be able to get these characters into the game to be able to shine so we have something to look forward to not something that's going to be so predictable where you know it's going to be a spongebob character we got enough of these characters already he's an all-star that deserves to be as he's an under i'm saying this he's an underrated all-star that needs to be able to get into this game whether in this game the next game or some kind of crossover Mikey Simon would definitely be a lot of fun to play, and I definitely hope he's he becomes a playable character someday. Maybe they'll consider him. But there's other shows and other characters that exist outside of those three reps that we got from the season pass. We definitely need more shows, and I think Mikey Simon will be a lot more a lot more of a greater choice than what we have from the season pass.